for more flavors than you can imagine. Yum, 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 yum. There's only one Top Chef. It's like a bad banquet meal. Make cornbread, not war. Top Chef Seattle is only with you Wednesday at 10 9 Central. Only by Bravo. Still in 45 minutes goes by real fast, brother. It's all good, it's all good, bro. I thought you always using chopsticks too, bro. No time for chopsticks. <laughs> you know, I don't think anybody's ever seen scrambled scallops before. I know that I haven't. But I've been on kind of a roll lately, and I just hope I keep riding that wave of momentum. What I prepared today is pork and scallop. Originally, I wanted to do a pasta, but uh, I didn't like the way it's set up, so I decided to kind of scramble it, like scrambled eggs. So it's kind of my play on breakfast. There's some braised pork belly, scrambled scallop, and bacon. Sprinkle that on there, get you a little texture. Thank you, Josh. If you even say this is scrambled scallop, I'd never know, but it has a sea flavor. I think flavor-wise, this is packing good punch. I don't get enough scallop. I think the turf is overpowering the syrup. But personally, I like the presentation. I think it, it, it goes really much with the theme. I think Josh is a pretty traditionalist chef. So to see Josh doing a dish like this, I mean, is a leap of faith on his part. It's got to be a real taste. It's really nice to get that. I'm frustrated. The food's uninspiring. My tempura soggy. It's just like your roller derby challenge. It's definitely not my best work, and it sucks when it's so close to me. I'm taking you to a journey to Korea and uh, Japan. Korean barbecue filet mignon and tempura lobster with a dynamite sauce. And we have some sesame cabbage, kimchi, mm. and a teriyaki sauce. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I think Sheldon did a great job of presentation here. But why do people continually think that tempura is a good idea? I'm encountering something again. It came out of a fryer and it's cold, so it had to be sitting back there for 10 minutes before we played it. Why well, I could eat this kimchi all day, though. For me, I just didn't get the dynamite lost. If you're saying dynamite, it's an explosion. It's, wow, it's big, it's huge, you know? It's not dynamite. It's difficult to see what Sheldon was really after. This is still harkening back to, I think, the origins of Surf and Turkey, which is that people wanted two different items on the same plate. They weren't married. This is not working. I got you. Oh, my cabbage roll and the steamer. Oh. I can't leave it any longer. I pull my cabbage rolls and stop begging. Simba? I've made you a pork and scallop dish. The cabbage is stuffed with sucking pig, seared bay scallops, and bacon. It's finished with a little bit of cracking. The sauce is a mustard sour cream, and the pickles are shallot and apple. Enjoy. Lizzie's dish looks like this beautiful, fancy little dim sum. The cabbage, as soon as I put my fork in it, the whole thing just fell apart. The cabbage looks not cooked enough, so it's, it's just it's hard to eat. It's really chewy, white. Oh, no, I, I actually i am enjoying Lizzie's dish. It's just not wowing. I mean, she had suckling pig and scallops, and I can think of 20 things to do that would kind of elevate it to another level other than a stuffed cabbage. Is the scallop is overpowered by the rest of the dish. That being said, still a really tasty. All in all, I think the chefs were pretty creative. It takes time to develop something that, that, that out of the box. And so I think for two hours to cook, certainly as many people, I think they did a good job. And some of them really worked. Let's talk about who we think could win today. Given everything, I think that Josh actually put out one of the better dishes today. Everything was enveloped in this wonderful seawater goodness. And I think if we're hitting surf and surf, he hit it out of the park. Yeah, I was scrambling to get it all plated. That sucks, dude. Oh, yeah. I would have to say Brooke. She really thought about that dish. I've got complaints about the chutney. I've got complaints about the papadum. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're middle. You know, you always say there's nothing.